Back in 2021, I was driving through Balmain and I saw this interesting small sized solar system hanging off the balcony of a building. Recently, Renew Economy just did an article saying that in Germany there are over 400,000 balcony solar plants and in Germany they call them Baikon Kraftwerk and they are being installed at the rate of 50,000 per quarter. Solar Quotes has also done an article talking about whether this style of balcony solar is actually legal in Australia and it's not regulated to be legal at this point in time. The balcony solar systems in Germany are usually regulated to be under 800 watts and they are able to plug directly into a normal power point that you would have either on the balcony or inside the apartment. Yes, a genius. This turns balcony solar into something that a Bunnings Weekend Warrior could buy a do-it-yourself kit, take home and install solar on the balcony in under 15 minutes. Now, Germany is actually trying to promote this and a number of people that live in apartment buildings in Germany don't have smart meters at this point in time. So they've actually allowed these style of balcony solar systems to be installed and plugged into a power point and to feed back into the grid through accumulation meters, which means uh, the people that install them actually get the um, full saving uh, that's equivalent to the amount of money that they would pay for electricity coming in from the grid into their apartment. This type of balcony solar system is also being promoted and is regulated in the UK, Austria, France, Italy, Poland and Luxembourg. But at the moment, it's not regulated or permitted in Australia or the US. Now, a lot of people will say it's quite dangerous, uh, but with the right regulatory environment, this would provide an incredible opportunity for renters in Australian apartment buildings to get solar and also to be able to move it to their next apartment when they move out of one apartment and move into another apartment to rent. It's also a great solution for owner occupiers who aren't able to get their strata to install rooftop solar. So with the right precautions, perhaps with uh, type A RCDs being mandated in the apartment subboard and regulating the power plants for balconies that come into the country and if they've got batteries, regulating those batteries as well and also uh, in conjunction with the anti-islanding which means you can't electrocute yourself on the plug that you plug in if the grid power disconnects from your apartment then I think uh, with all the innovation going on in this space things like being able to get a smart plug that actually plugs in behind your fridge and allows these balcony solar systems to either divert power to running appliances in the apartment or dynamically divert it to go into a battery that you can use later on. This is a great area of innovation and we'd love to see it regulated and uh, being brought into the renewable energy mix here in Australia. It's a genius.